The U.S. Coast Guard investigation into last year's deadly implosion of the Titan submersible has revealed the final messages from the crew as it descended to the wreck of the Titanic. One reading, quote, all good here. Well, a former lead engineer for OceanGate testified yesterday that he felt pressured to get the vessel ready to dive. And investigators revealed the submersible had over 100 equipment issues in the years leading up to the disaster. So joining us now with more on this is the president and founder of uh, Lifeguard Systems, Butch Hendrick. Butch, thank you so much for joining us. So this is a former lead engineer who was actually fired because he wouldn't do some of what was being asked of him years before this fatal uh, descent. So, but let's start yes. with this figure of over 100, uh, 100 equi equipment issues in the years leading up to the fatal dive. This was an experimental submersible. So is that out of the ordinary for, for there to be that many issues? I don't believe it is. Normally, when we're teaching people how to do things, and especially under pressure and underwater, three, three problems says, let's stop and go back and fix at least two. Mm. So I have hundreds, and for that kind of pressure differential, I don't believe it's out of the ordinary at all. Right. And so the, what stood out to you the most about yesterday's testimony? Basically, again, the engineer being able to say that he was fired because he wanted to have double and triple checks. Yeah. But also but also the fact that there was no third party certifications, that it, it was constantly being diverted so that he didn't have to have someone from the outside come in and say, these are problems. Right. And in fact, that lead engineer said himself at the time when he was working for the company, there's no way he was going to go down in that submersible. And he and he didn't just talk about, you know, the actual vessel, but also the crew. He just didn't feel like it would be safe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was a, a whole series of issues that were were happening. And it, they were talking about it when the incident originally took place, that there was a lot of shortcuts done, and if you argued, you might lose your job. Uh, some of the safety issues, double checks, again, checks things three times. If there's a problem, stop. Three problems says shut it down. Now, I think a lot of people are probably surprised to hear uh, about this back in the news right now and that the Coast Guard is only just now kind of doing this uh, public investigation. Um, it seems like it's taken a long time to get here. What are investigators trying to do over the course of this sort of two-week hearing? Well, first of all, I don't think it took a long time for them to get to this point. Mm. They have they have an enormous amount of work to be able to look at all the little problems that might have happened, what took place, and they didn't want to come into this. Certainly, the Coast Guard did not want to come into this unprepared. They wanted the best information they could have. So time-wise, I don't think taking a, a year is a long time. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, that's good to know because, you know, I, I'm, no, I'm no expert on this. So you never know how much they have to dig through to get to this point. Um, Butch, thank you very much.